Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today once again. And you sent in a lot of really cool pictures last week of the Trinity or of God, of different persons of the Trinity. And so I'm going to show you some of those pictures that you sent in. So thank you so much. You did such a great job. Here are your pictures. You did pictures of the Father. You did pictures of the Son. You did pictures of the Holy Spirit. Because you know that you have a God who is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. You have a triune God, a God who created the world and preserves the world, a God who planned out our salvation because he loved us so much. You have a God who died for you. You have a God who loves you so much that he wanted his Holy Spirit to find you through his word so that faith would create would be created in your heart. You have a triune God. A God who was born for you. And that God died for you when Jesus died on the cross. You sent in so many great pictures of God. Thank you so much. Today, we're going to look at pictures of God's creation. And we're going to see that there is one part of God's creation that was just like God. It was the closest thing to God. What God wanted, this part of his creation always did. And God said, I want this part of his creation to take care of the rest of his creation. This part of his creation was in perfect harmony with God. And we're going to figure out which part it is, okay? So which part of God's creation was most like God? That's the question. So first you have to identify, well, what is it? And then we're going to think, is this part of the creation that is most like God? Okay, here we have a, a tiger. Is this part of creation most like God? Here we have a, an alligator. Is this part of his creation most like God? Here we have some horses. Is this part of God's creation most like him? Here we have some jellyfish. Is this part of, cre of God's creation most like him? Look at this. Looks like a deer. Is this part of his creation most like him? Ooh, look at that. That's a cool kitty cat, right? No, that's a cheetah. Is this part of God's creation most like him? A little tiny monkey. Is this part of his creation most like him? Ooh, that looks like a slithering snake. Is this part of his creation most like him? Ah, how sweet. A little puppy dog. Is this part of God's creation most like him? A powerful lion. Is this part of God's creation most like him? A big elephant! Is this part of God's creation most like him? Oh, look at that. There it is. The tiny little kitten. The ti tiny little kitty cat. Is this part of God's creation most like him? Wow. A beautiful butterfly. Is this part of God's creation most like him? Ooh, and look at this. A hawk. Is this part of God's creation most like him? Now what in the world is this? What is this? These are two people. I think they might be Adam and Eve, huh? Is this part of God's creation most like him? 
this is the one. Humans are the part of God's creation that are most like God. They had the image of God. They were perfect. And God said, I want you to be my representatives on earth. I want you to take care of all of my creation. And so what they did, God wanted them to do. And what they thought were the th same things that God thought. They had God's image. And they were the part of creation that was most like God. It was people. But something happened. They disobeyed God. And so they lost that perfection. They lost God's image. And you and I are born like our parents who disobeyed God, and they're born like their parents who disobeyed God, who are born all the way back like their parents who disobeyed God, Adam and Eve, that first time in the garden. And so we lost that part of us that made us just like God. But then Jesus came, and he restores it in us. He died on the cross to forgive us for all those times we disobey, to wash away our sins so that we could be like God once again. He is making us like God again. And we, when we are in heaven, will finally have his image in all of its perfection so that we will be just like God, perfect and holy and righteous once again. Let's thank God for sending Jesus so that we can have his image once again. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for creating us in your image. And thank you for sending Jesus to restore your image in us. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless your week, and I'll see you again. God bless you all. Bye.